is only going to go as deep as you're willing to get intimate and vulnerable and real, right? And so like like any like business initiative that you're so deeply passionate about, it's it's an intimacy conversation. It's a willingness to go in there and continue to show up there and produce from there and share it with the world and be like, God, you know, knowing full well that other people's shit's going to show up in the context of your messaging and their judgments are going to come flying at you. And then, and then being able to sit in your power and go, this is theirs. This isn't mine. Yeah. I know I'm here to serve those that get this. You're listening to The Real You. Thoughts, ideas, and perspectives from the ordinary in all of us. My name is Dooley, and this podcast is in partnership with Pocket Change, the social platform built to show the real you. So what we actually, I think, talked about this the other day, too, but um, I was listening to his YouTube video and went down and was talking about success and how we define success. And basically that success <laughs> in itself is a strange word. Um, but what he came to, and this is some quote I'm messing up, but essentially success is recognizing like where you are, kind of who you are, what sort of situation you may be in. And so again, a lot of times that's the self-awareness practice, recognizing your, what, what is it that you love? What are the energies you want to be putting out and surrounded by and stuff like that? And then there's the side of success, which is where do you want to be? And that's sort of the close your eyes. Like, what are your dreams? Where are your visions of this? Like, what is the way you want to wake up and see your life unfolding and the challenges and all that? And then there's that massive blank space in between, which is completely unknown. But as long as you're in constant check of where you are and it's heading in the direction of where you want to be, that space in the middle is like the play space. That's where you take all the risks do whatever it is, as long as it feels as though you're heading in the direction of where you want to be. Mm-hmm. Cause if that's true, then you are successful. No matter what the metrics are, no matter what the actual is it happening in between knowing where you are playing in the space of risk, reward, ups, downs, highs, lows in the direction of where you want to be. And so that's also yeah, what I'm I, focusing I, right now. Yeah. And I, I, I agree with you. And I'd also add to that, that, that the importance of in that conversation or in that space around success is, is being intentional within your support system, within your community of people to surround yourself with people that bring you back to you, Mm -hmm. that, 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 that respect you, that love you, that hold you, that hold the container of you. And and also be entered in a deep conversation around the spirituality, the trust, faith, like not dogma. I'm talking like, you know, how, how does all this kind of come together? Mm-hmm. And, and, and like, what, what are the factors in the universe? And like, be, be in that conversation around reality, what's real and resonant to you. Mm-hmm. Um, so there's the spiritual, there's the relationship, there's the cognitive advancement of like, growing intellectually and continuing to navigate stuff that's really interesting to you. Mm-hmm. Um, and, uh, and then, and then, you know, like we've talked about integrating all these factors together mm-hmm. um, while getting to know your body more clearly, yeah. Yeah, you know, yeah. the, the, the um, introspection, the pieces of you, the wisdoms of you, the old, old pieces that maybe aren't even yours, maybe live from a different generation that you yeah. are carrying forward. Um, mm-hmm. You know, so you, so that that that's to me was what I would add on to support your um, definition of success is for me it's it's moving in all these different areas and being very aware of what's interesting to me and what's resonant to me mm-hmm. like not reading a book because I'm trying to regurgitate it back to my history professor or my science teacher but reading a book and and feeling what jumps off the page is like hmm yeah that's real true for me. Yeah. It might, might not be true to you, but it's true to me, you know, mm-hmm. and continuing in that conversation to harness and nourish that space. So it's like, mm-hmm. you know, this is, this is my journey. This mm-hmm. is the journey of me mm-hmm. and not you. So just because I read something here or read something there, it doesn't mean that it all has to kind of land here. Yeah. You come from a different place, have had many different experiences, have a different makeup. Mm-hmm. You know, that, that's the authentic, the true person, the, the reality. And, and I think that's, um, 
you know, that's, uh, that, that's very true what you said. The other thing that was coming up is I had a conversation with a, a, a good friend of mine. He's, he runs a, a law firm in California. And we were talking about, I was telling him all about Exalt Athletics and, and um, you know, launching this space for athletes to be able to um, navigate their deeper conversation and their connection to themselves and, and, and grow from a developmental perspective very intentionally through sport. And how deeply that landed with me because that was support that I didn't have yeah. growing up as a high-level athlete. And I'm like, man, this is like aspects of like 12-year-old Greg show up and work with these kids. It's like, it sounds really bizarre, but it's, it's, it's true. I'm 42 years old and there are still parts of me I still feel like are like, whoa, that's like eerily familiar to 12 years old, 15,000 people, Quebec Coliseum, Pee Wee Championship. I'm like, oh, the, the stuff's Stuff's showing up, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, and he was, and, and, and he, he brought up an interesting point. He's like, man, like you working in this space of, of, with athletes, this is like, like in launching a business and something that's deeply personal to you, like that's, that's real success that, that you take to the ground mm -hmm. because it's, it, it is that consistent conversation of that deep, deep, deepest parts of you mm -hmm. that, that, um, are, are very challenging to navigate and are so deeply personal that maybe aren't recognized by everybody, yeah. but it's like, but it's you. And it's like the, it's, it's the front final frontier of success to be able to continue down this road that, you know, you're embarking on mm -hmm. by taking all these experiences and, and continuing to integrate them mm -hmm. with a desire of an impact that potentially could be capitalized on or monetized in a way that yeah. supports you your family, your, you know, your kids maybe down the road. Like mm. that's, and I was like, yeah, man, like that's why it's been so clunky for me to build my business is because yeah. it's like, it's like, ah, shit. It's like, it's like this. It's not like straight ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. So what for you, what's been the biggest kind of not, I guess even this, yeah. What's kind of your biggest fear or hold back with it? Cause obviously I know it truly connects to you and it's coming from a, almost like a, your own body and mind first, and then it's kind of applying it to a potential yeah, yeah. sort of business opportunity. What, how has that been with you navigating it? You know, so, so, so for me, it's to what extent am I willing to let, get my heart broken? Mm -hmm. So it's courage. And then, like you said earlier, navigating stories, it's, Noticing the stories that get inserted to protect me from being brokenhearted mm -hmm. and removing those stories and continuing to allow myself to show up mm -hmm. in these spaces where I've been hurt before, rejected before, told I'm not enough before. And this is in, in the, the highly competitive world of sports, abused by coaches emotionally. You know, at 10 years old, I I think I may have shared this with you at some point in time. I, I was the chubby kid on the team and I was told that I had to lose weight to stay on the team. I was 120 pounds at 10 years old, which is probably what you are right now. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> and, <laughs> and, uh, and, 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 and so one day after a trip, I showed up and, and I did, I had a weigh in every week and I didn't lose a, a weight or gain a weight. We had just been on this big tournament. We were eating out all the time and stuff. And he had donuts. He's like, you want to eat these donuts? And I'm like, so I have all of these memories of being, you know, like we all do about being mistreated by unhealthy people to some extent. Mm -hmm. And, and so for me, it's, it's, it's continuing to put my heart out there and have these old traumas show up and navigate them and not put stories in front of them, just move through them mm -hmm. and translate them into a deeper value proposition for those I'm trying to serve. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and that's a, daily battle man daily yeah. battle it's yeah, like yeah. it's 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 the willingness to be hurt yeah. it's it's intimacy at its core it's like like your your relationship with mia is only going to go as deep as you're willing to get intimate and vulnerable and real right and so like like any like business initiative that you're so deeply passionate about it's it's an intimacy conversation it's a willingness to go in there and continue to show up there and produce from there and share it with the world and be like, God, you know, knowing full well 
that other people's shit's going to show up in the context of your messaging mm -hmm. and their judgments are going to come flying at you. And then, and then being able to sit in your power and go, this is theirs. This isn't mine. Yeah. I know I'm here to serve those that get this. Yeah. Those yeah. that understand this in a deeper way. No, those that, that recognize the trajectory of an athlete is, as being just as nonlinear as anybody else. Right? Yeah. 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 And, yeah. 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 And how performance is a manifestation of our willingness to get courageous and show up and be vulnerable and present and, and leave it all out there. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, so that, that like you, like me, like that's the constant conversation. It's like, mm -hmm. fuck, I've got to do this again yeah. and again and again. Yeah. And then I'm going to walk out there and someone's going to go, and I'm going to go, I'm not of any value. I'm not, I'm not a, my purpose isn't true. I'm a liar. I'm a phony. I'm a fa false, you know, and all of these things like kind of like, you know, pop up at weird times. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. 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 It's you kind know, of funny, the, the ongoingness of it also, I think is the hard part on like, you know, we're continuing to make more shifts with the pocket change thing. I talked to you about possibly doing a little bit of a brand adjustment because it, um, shifts a little bit on how we're starting to feel more people connect to it in the platform and through um, sort of our messaging of it. And as a part of that, I talked to one of my best buddies who was caught up on the phone the other day. I told him, I was telling him about it. I'm like, yeah, we're making the shift. So he's like, like, again? And I'm like, yeah, again. And it's always going to be a shift. Like, it was just like, you know, I get that. And at first, like, yep again but then there's like no yeah again because also the way that i am as a human is also shifting again and the way that we see this evolving forward is going to be shifting mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. i don't know but it, it was almost a prime example of the the story that i am kind of making up about what other people might think about what we're doing mm -hmm. sort of coming to a natural reality but then also a little bit of like facing the comfort of it of well, yeah, we are making a shift and that's also because we feel that's the right thing to do and we're starting to feel more connections in sort of how we're going about it. And that's what we want to lean into is that sort of true ability to you know, bring people together around the ideas we're talking about. And so, um, yeah, I don't know. It's just a pretty detailed moment of a made-up story in my mind kind of coming true, but knowing that this is the battle forever forward. And again, the, the whole letting that go is, is the practice basically. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so let me ask you a question in terms of the work we've been doing together. Um, how has um, our work together supported you in your journey and allowed you to navigate some difficult moments in a way that, has increased your performance in unsuspecting ways. I instantly go to um, the ability to step away from something for a moment. And that means even a 10 minute break. So this kind of um, comes into what we were talking about with, I mean, the whole story thing, but then the practices of everything is I get very, lost in my, I've got this going on, that going on, the email's coming in, person's calling me, we're trying to plan a trip, whatever it is, um, thrown at me all the time. And the practice that I've discovered I most need is to learn how to become best friends with myself. Mm. And that is through the, the meditation, the journaling, the yoga, the fitness stuff, also making time you know, I used to feel guilty about doing music stuff. I'm like, oh no, I've got the startup thing. I'm behind all this. I can't do music. That's like me avoiding responsibilities. That script has entirely shifted because I'm like, no, I do need music because music is another practice for me to become in tune with myself and become best mm -hmm. friends with myself. Because if I can start there, I can show up and be a lot more present and perform a lot better in the things I actually need to do in terms of the startup stuff or thinking about paying bills and going about life in an, <laughs> a practical way. Um, yeah. Yeah. I would say as a specific answer, that subtle shift from 
in the moments that you feel most in crisis is the moment that you need to actually take the time to calm down about it. Mm -hmm. We were talking about with you the other day and actually had a call earlier about this. Um, and she was saying she does some yoga. Um, I think she was saying yoga teaching in the days that you like feel like you need yoga, make sure to go and do 20 minutes in the days that you're far too busy to do it. You need to go and do 30 minutes. And mm -hmm. so it's like that kind of yeah, 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 yeah. shift in mentality of recognizing when I'm at my, breaking point, my fear, my panic, and then making those the times of <laughs> almost letting up on a responsibility to actually execute on myself because then I'll come back tenfold on the response. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Yeah, and I was just thinking as you were talking that, that you know, my practice mm. before every phone call, every conversation is I meditate before every conversation. Mm. I, I check in with myself. Like before doing this with you, I, I meditated for 15 minutes. I think I fell asleep for like four of it, to be frank. But it's just like, but, but, but that, then, then for me, I know that, you know, I've settled in, I've checked in and that whatever shows up is going to be whatever shows up mm -hmm. and, um, and trusting the manifestation of my own ideas and my own instincts and like, like feeling into kind of like, you know, what's going to land in, in, in Christian's world today in a way that, that, that just for whatever reason just feels completely right. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, so it's not a plan. It's not a model. It's not anything other than, you know, deeply having the capacity to feel you um, mm -hmm. in, in the context of the, the conversations we've been having. Mm -hmm. um, so, so yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Um, and it's amazing. Like someone once told me, you know, there's, you have as much space inside as there is outside, like this infinite capacity within mm. us. Um, and it's our own um, blockages or circumventing of systems or stories like we were talking about that, that or, or, or habits mm -hmm. around technology in particular that's really present today, right? It's just like that cut us off from our own capacity. Yeah. yeah, yeah and yeah. that, and that 20 or 30 minutes, like when, when you're discombobulated in the day and you're like, oh my God, I don't know how I'm going to get all this done. That actually doing nothing for 20 minutes can actually mm -hmm. get more done than yeah. knocking it all out. Yeah, yeah. So what, what have you found, I guess, um, besides in myself with stuff, but you're practicing with other people, how does that like shift i guess like or does Say it again what does what shift all right question start over yeah you've been doing stuff with me for a long time and i know you work with other people as well do you find it to be different in terms of how you approach certain things or how does each person affect the way that you kind of go about your sort of Oh, it's, yeah, it's, it's, um, it's hot. It's deep. It's, it's deeply personal yeah. and, 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 and very much orientated around the connection and the space we've created together. Mm -hmm. Um, and, um, and, and a, and a deep felt sense that's, you know, like I, I've been studying this stuff for a very, very long time. So yeah. like, Master your, this is why this resonates. Master your instrument, master your music, then forget all the bullshit and just play. Mm -hmm. To me, it's like read and learn and start like master's degree, undergraduate degree in human development, marketing, master's degree, and all this background in sports, how I live my life as a father, as a husband, mm -hmm. um, as a friend. Mm -hmm. and, and, I, and, and, and then when I show up with clients and all these models that I've learned over time, I, I let go of any... Mm -hmm models of any sort and just allow yeah. what shows up shows up yeah 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 it was piece of this piece of that piece of this and it's just like yeah this this feels right does this does this resonate with you mm -hmm. versus like yeah i'm gonna take mr dooley and i'm gonna put him <laughs> in this box and i'm gonna call yeah, him yeah, yeah, yeah. Up, uh, exhibit a and exhibit yeah. a is gonna look this way and he's gonna have his life in order and he's gonna be a satisfied client when he's got bing 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 because the reality of this whole process, Dooley, yeah. is that is is we often realize um, that maybe 
maybe what we thought our life was supposed to look like isn't the way it's supposed to look. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, maybe our passion, like when we start to really look under the hood of all of this, it's like, am I living my dream or am I living someone else's dream? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. It's, and it's, and it's, and it's huge. It's like, yeah. and I remember the day you and I were sitting there and I'm like, I'm like, Hey, wait a minute. That used to say baby dually. And now it says dually. You're like, yeah, I had to drop the baby dually because <laughs> I'm now dually. And therefore dually is this guy. And this guy shows up this way and you know, I've graduated and I'm, you know, I am dually. And I'm like, yeah. Oh, that's cool. And now just recently you're like, you know what? Actually, Mm. Baby Dooley is a big part of who I am. Mm. Yeah, Baby yeah. Dooley is the reality of Dooley. It's like, man, actually, in fact, if we really wanted to look at this closely, Baby Dooley is where it all happens. Yeah, 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 yeah. Which is That's a fascinating, true. you know, that we have, I don't think we've ever put words to it like this before, right? But it's like, Baby Dooley is actually. <laughs> so I. You. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's where, too, from. So in the twofold thing of that is. Going just to the dually is the collective of, wait a sec, I'm going to show up just as my actual me being myself. Like I am dually, people call me dually. It works for the music name being kind of like its own sort of name and whatnot. Uh, but the baby dually, even my most recent project has shown up on some of the tags because it was from a referencing of a time when I had the baby dually kind of thing going. But that also is now in concept two of, I still make a bunch of goofy random shit that's like maybe all all from the dually where I'm like working on things now, but there's still that total playful side of everything. And even in my normal shit, there is too. But um, yeah, so I'm, I'm not like, like even I'm not dropping the baby dually as if it's written off in something. It's more of, oh no, this is my current evolution into my true self. But the baby yeah. dually is kind of like a little thing in my not even I go to my head, but I'm saying into like my whole self of it's a it's a place to kind of tap into and just say fuck it, fuck everyone. I'm just messing around doing me. And that, well, that's totally, man. And 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 think about it. So we put this notion of responsibility on everything. Yeah. Right. We put the 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 the, the stresses of forward thinking, the, the 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 anxieties of of worrying about how things are going to go, and in reality, like baby Dooley is actually a pretty responsible dude. Baby Dooley, baby, baby Dooley cares about the blocks, cares about the beats, cares about the community of like baby Dooley's heart. It's like this, right? So then, then we look at this notion of like COO pocket change Dooley. And then we all of a sudden la label it with this like, oh my gosh, I've got, I've got real responsibilities. So therefore I've got to take care of business, right? Yeah. And so we attach all these stories to what it means to take care of business. In reality, Baby Dooley's probably better at COO job, COO Dooley's job than Dooley is. Yeah, 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 yeah. I I, I agree. I also hope yeah. you know the the line you had in there. Baby Dooley's honestly a pretty responsible dude. That that's gonna be in a that's showing up in a song someday. That's <laughs> yeah, nice. No, but it's, but it's true. It's just but it's to me it's just like this has been <laughs> this has been my journey. This is why I share this with you, and I yeah, I yeah. help you contextualize yourself in a similar way because for me it's been like actually you know what. 12 year old Greg had a lot of shit figured out. Yeah. You know, he didn't have certain things. He had certain things. He's navigating all this. It's like, whoa, 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 whoa. You know, yeah. he's actually a pretty responsible guy who had to take care of himself in a pretty significant way. Mm -hmm. And how he did this was maybe not the right thing, but he had the idea or the instincts to take care of himself. Yeah. Uh, That's fucking important, man. And so, how do we? continue to take care of ourselves and show up. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's everything. I'm, I'm with it. I'm with it. Oh yeah. So, um, I mean, yeah. how, 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 like you were a golfer. Let me ask you this question. You, you were really passionate about golf mm -hmm. and, um, how would it, how would have a conversation like this, um, supported you? Um, in your in your desires to be a golfer, I, I think conversations like this would have shifted my entire perspective on what was wrong with my golf game. I had this moment of high peak coming into eighth grade, 
freshman year of high school when I was top of my game, shooting like mid seventies every time, I was on the D one path. And I started to shift on my body and grow. I got a big, big growth spurt, um, kind of started hitting it all over. That's what I was sort of told was kind of the issue and what I sort of the story I told myself. But what was actually happening was every time I started doing well, I got scared of doing well. Like I would, it just was in my head. Like you could see my scorecard, you could see my swing, everything, great shots, birdies, all these things. And then there would just be little blow ups for no reason. But the conversation and the practice I was going through every day was go up, get your swing down better, get your putting down better, all this stuff. And I wasn't an angry person. So while other people freak out, smash their club, it's a mental game for them. Like it was 100% a mental thing for me, but it was the mental fear of hyper success instead of the fear of like doing bad and then it getting worse. Mm -hmm. So this kind of conversation, I think, would have shifted a lot of stuff mentally and at least what I was practicing. Because yeah, yeah, I was, I mean, I was practicing is. swinging and playing. I wasn't practicing being okay with not caring about doing well, just playing the sport, just play my thing, do my swing, don't worry about the scorecard. Um, but I got so caught up in it, even if I didn't show it on my face or through smashing a club. Yeah, yeah. And, and just the fact that you know we were so focused on skill development that we forgot about or we were unaware of these other pieces that actually were the glue to hold the whole thing together. Yeah. 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 Actually, yeah. Keep understanding that, that, that Christian Dooley's body's changing. Therefore his mechanics are changing. Therefore his resiliency needs to emerge. Therefore he needs to dig deeper within himself and discover his next level of mm. like discipline and devotion to holding the container. Yeah, oh, versus, yeah, yeah. You know, versus just kind of going out and doing the same thing without perspective on what's really shifting. Yeah, that conversation yeah, yeah, yeah. Of what's shifting and the complexities around life continuing to shift, and this idea of like childhood duly getting this idea of responsibility again and having to make decisions and how to do that and the the pressures and the stories and all of that stuff that can kind of put you in a in a bottle mm -hmm. and. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. And, and, and crush the spirit of the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's everything, man. It's everything. <laughs>